How's everybody doing today? And let me tell you, I am psyched. Ken Rosenthal tweeted about 30 minutes ago that the Cubs have reached an agreement with Craig Kimbrell for three years, $45 million, and a fourth year option. Woo! You, oh man, I am so psyched. The Cubs bullpen has been horrendous year, this year. The closing spot has been atrocious. And we finally got an all-star, a bona fide closer, someone we can rely on to shut the door at the end of games when we need it. So, whew, I'm psyched. But before we actually talk about this, you get my reaction, you get my thoughts behind it. Let me know what you guys think about this deal in the comment section down below. If you guys wanna see some more baseball recap, baseball type videos, hit that like button. That's the easiest way for me to know if you guys do enjoy it. And also, if you're new to the channel, you enjoy baseball videos, hit that subscribe button. This is the place to be. Also, in the comment section, let me know what you guys thought about this deal. Is it good for the Cubs? Is it bad for the Cubs? Do you think your team should have went harder to get Craig Kimbrell? What was your team? Why do you think you guys needed him? Um, let me know in the comment section down below. But as a Cubs fan, let me tell you, I am psyched. And we're going to talk about a bunch of things. But let me start it off really quick with two things. The Cubs committing to Kimbrel for three years, potentially four years, basically writes off two things for this season and a couple things for the future. So now we have a closer for the future. We don't have to worry about picking up anybody else as long as Craig Kimbrel obviously performs. But for this season, there's two major things. One, they basically are at the point where they don't think Brandon Morrow is coming back to pitch this season. Obviously, he has amazing potential. He has amazing ability to be a closer. He's a great pitcher. It's just he can't stay healthy. Last year, when he was healthy, he was one of the best closers in the National League. Brandon Morrow really has great stuff on the mound. It's just he can't stay healthy. Always some sort of injuries. He was a starter. That's why he was moved to relief, just because he couldn't pitch that long in the game. He can only pitch a couple innings. Um, they tried to keep him healthy. just didn't work out. Brandon Morrow, unfortunately, just didn't work out as a closer for the Cubs. Um, he's, in, he's doing a rehab assignment now. He had a setback. He's just now getting back to long toss. They're basically at the point where they don't think he's coming back this season. So that's that. Brandon Morrow's done. Another thing is Ben Zobris has been on the restricted list for the last month for personal issues, a divorce. But at this point, they're basically at the point where they haven't gotten any, any updates from him and they basically are assuming that he's not coming back this season he's 38 years old if he were to come back he's already been out of the game for about a month he would need to get back into shape he'd need to get back into like baseball mlb speed he would obviously need to do a rehab assignment in the minors or something like that it's gonna take some time for him to get back to the point where he's mlb ready it's basically like i think ben zobris is done it's sad it's sad to see but he was struggling this season and being on the restricted list means that he's not getting paid. Why not use that money at, you know, a place where the Cubs really needed to fill a hole and that's the closer spot. Three years, $45 million for Craig Kimbrell puts him at the top three or four in terms of average salary for the next couple of years in term for closers. I think the only two that are higher than him are Kenley Jansen and Roldis Chapman. So, I mean, when you've got a pitcher like Craig Kimbrell, who has a career ERA of 1.19, a war of 20.1, and 333 saves in 10 seasons. I mean, you're really looking at a, like a solid closer, a guy that you can really like trust in shutting the, shutting the door in the ninth inning. So Craig Kimbrell, mostly known for throwing fastballs and curveballs. Earlier in his career, he did have a slider. It's basically disappeared at this point. And there is a supposed change up, but he doesn't throw it like at all. So, I mean, it's more of, you got fastball, you got curve. That's what you're getting with Craig Kimbrell, and it works. He's still got that stuff to get. He's, he's got he's got batters guessing all the time. So let's take a look at his stats. Um, rookie of the year. So one, he's a closer who won rookie of the year in 2011. 46 saves, 42, 50, 47, 39, 31, 35, 42. 333 saves in his career, and he's only blown 34. So basically 10% you know, he's blown. So nine out of 10 times, Kimbrel's going to go out there and he's going to shut the door for you. And that's the biggest issue that the Cubs have had this la this like entirety of the season. When we look at it, the Cubs are the third worst team in baseball. Whoops. The third worst team in baseball in terms of save percentage. They're at 52%. I'm sorry, what? So you have a guy out there saving the game and you have a 50-50 chance that they're actually going to save the game for you. That is horrendous. 
that are only better than the Mets and the Kansas City Royals. That is horrible. They've blown 11 saves this season. That's the biggest issue. If you can't have a guy that can close out the door for you, how do you expect to make the playoffs? I mean, they're supposed to be a World Series contender. They're not even going to make the playoffs if they don't have somebody who can close the door in the ninth inning. Especially in a one or two run game, you need that guy that you can trust. And that's the biggest issue with this Cubs bullpen right now. Steve Ciszek is not a closer. He's a sixth, seventh, maybe eighth inning guy. He's doing pretty solid this year. Low ERA. He's five of seven for save opportunities. So he's been the go-to guy for closers. But that's also because Pedro Strope has had some health issues. He's been dealing with a hamstring it is. His ERA is a little bit high this season. He's been struggling a little bit this year. Um, he has five saves, but again, he's blown a couple as well, five of seven. So he has two save, two blown saves, same with C-Shack. But these two guys are really not your closers. They're more of guys who are going to sit in the seventh to eighth inning to hold the lead. You're looking more of your setup guys there. Brandon Kinsler, Brad Brock, Kyle Ryan, Carl Edwards Jr., again, not guys that I'm looking for to close the door. Brandon Kinsler, he's been solid this year. Low ERA, been one of the better pitchers in the Cubs bullpen. The most consistent arm, I would say, in terms of the Cubs bullpen. But again, he's not a closer. He's more of a setup guy, maybe your seventh inning guy. Brad Brock, same thing. I really don't want him closing games. He's 0 for 2 this season. He's not the guy to go to. Kyle Ryan, very inexperienced, still growing, high ERA. He's kind of struggling at times this season. Not really a guy I want closing games. Tyler Chatwood, Mike Montgomery, they're long relievers. You know, they're more of like your sixth starting pitcher. Basically, if your your starting pitcher doesn't do well, you got your righty, you got your lefty to shove in there when you need some innings to be taken over. So again, the Cubs, they don't have a closer. Brandon Morrow, like I said, was supposed to be that guy. They paid him close to $10 million a year, and he hasn't had a healthy season since he's joined. That's a big issue. And that's kind of why they're at the point where it came to Ben Zobris needing to go onto the restricted list for the Cubs to be able to sign a player of Craig Kimbrell's ability. So again, let's backtrack a little bit. Again, like we had to lose Ben Zobris from now until the end of the season. The Cubs are saving $9 million this year if Ben Zobris doesn't play anymore. And again, like I said, I don't expect to see Ben Zobris come back at all. Um, you know, he's 38. He's kind of, he's at the end of his career and for him to come back after missing an entire month of the season it's gonna take a lot to get him back up to speed so he's gone we don't have brandon morrow so he hasn't been a closer for basically a year and a half the cubs have been just basically picking players and kind of just trying to fit in a piece to a spot that they just don't have a guy that can really fit in that spot so it's it's a big issue that the cubs have had i don't know how they've made it work for the last couple seasons, Pedro Strope, like I said, not a guy I trust being the closer, more of a setup guy. And we finally have Craig Kimbrell. You know, he's amazing. Lights out, got good stuff. You know, he's very, very reliable. So, for my opinion, I think this is a phenomenal deal. Yes, it is a lot of money, $15 million a year, like on average, for three seasons. But again, you got to compare him to Chapman, who's getting paid high, who's putting up similar, you know, closing numbers. You're looking at, who else did I say? Kenley Jansen, again, one of the best closers. Craig Kimbrell is easily one of the best closers in baseball. You got to pay him well. And then you obviously need to be a good team to get him to a point where he wants to play for your team. Like And the Chicago Cubs, they're supposed to be World Series contenders. They didn't really get better this season. This makes them a definite contender now. They finally have that guy who can close out games. And that's what they needed. So Craig Kimbrell, I think, is a phenomenal phenomenal pickup for the Cubs and the big thing that I really haven't even stressed this entire video is that they didn't need to trade anybody they didn't need to give up away give away a draft pick and compensation they just had to wait for the draft to pass and they were able to sign him in free agency to get an all-star caliber closer one of the best in baseball and you didn't have to trade away a prospect you didn't have to trade away one of your best players and you didn't have to give away a draft pick that is amazing so I know guys, I probably rambled about a lot of stuff and I probably repeated myself quite a bit. But for me, I am super psyched about this deal. I think for the Cubs, this was a great pickup. I think if any team that is a World Series contender that needed bullpen help was able to get Craig Kimbrell for three years, $15 million a year, I think that would have been a phenomenal pickup. So like if you look at the Braves, 
who are supposed to be playoff contenders, supposed to be a good team. If they were able to get him, help that bullpen, that would have been a great pickup for them. Any team that needs a closer, a setup guy, Craig Kimbrell was that guy. And the Cubs were just lucky enough to really push hard, really get, and they finally got their guy. So again, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's just a quick little, you know, my reaction to the signing to Craig Kimbrell. I try to keep it as honest, as unbiased as possible, where I wasn't like, this is amazing. I'm a Cubs fan. This is amazing. We're going to win the World Series now. I still don't think we're a World Series winning team. I think it does strengthen our bullpen. I think it does strengthen the team. We still got a lot of holes that need to be filled. So again, I do like the signing. I think that he would have helped any team that is a, you know, a World Series contender. But for the Cubs, it really filled the biggest hole that they had. And this is a good signing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.